It's time for Dodger Baseball. Live from Dodger Stadium, Prime Ticket presents the Dodgers as they take on the St. Louis Cardinals. Hi, everybody, and a very pleasant Wednesday night to you, wherever you may be. Final meeting of the regular season between the Dodgers and the Cardinals. Cardinals have won four of the previous six. Now, you have two first-place clubs, the Cardinals in the Central, the Dodgers in the West, each team hungry for pitching. And so what happened? Well, today the Cardinals acquired the services of John Smoltz, the veteran by way of the Red Sox in Atlanta, and the Dodgers have just signed right-handed Vicente Padilla, who had had been with Texas. He'll pitch in Albuquerque this weekend and will open up in the Colorado series. That's a big one next week. Meanwhile, tonight, it'll be Clayton Kershaw trying to win his ninth, 1-0 and in his career, pitched a great game against the Cardinals, but was not involved in the decision this year. And for St. Louis, the big right-hander Adam Wainwright, a 14-game winner. He is 2-2 two two lifetime with the Dodgers. He beat them once earlier this year. So pull up a chair. The Dodgers and the Cardinals will get to it right after this. Dodger Baseball on Prime Ticket is brought to you by the Teriyaki $6 Burger with Grilled Pineapple, back at Carl's Jr. And by Verizon, America's largest mobile-to-mobile -mobile calling family. Hi, everybody, and a very pleasant Wednesday evening to you, wherever you may be. Dodgers are at home with the St. Louis Cardinals. Final game of the three-game series and their final meeting in the regular season. The Cardinals so far have beaten the Dodgers four out of six. Under the heading, you never have enough pitching, you certainly put into focus the Cardinals and the Dodgers. The Cardinals lead the Cubs by six, and they have acquired the services of John Smoltz. And, of course, everybody knows the great Smoltz from all those years in Atlanta. He was the 1996 Cy Young Award winner, an eight-time All-Star. He has a career record of 212 wins, 151 losses. And the Cardinals made a deal with him today. And we understand that John Smoltz will be pitching for the Cardinals Sunday against San Diego. And under that heading, you never have enough pitching, you take the Dodgers. Joe Torre's club, four and a half games in front of Colorado, five and a half in front of the Giants, and the Dodgers announced that they have signed Vicente Padilla to a minor league contract. That means he'll go out and work in Albuquerque, and then Padilla, who won 14 victories last year, will be on the mound in game one against Colorado. So, you never have enough pitching, but we ought to have some tonight. Here's the Cardinal batting order. Brandon Ryan, the shortstop, followed by former Dodger Julio Lugo at second base. Albert Pujols at first, Matt Holliday in left field. Brian Ludwig in right field, and Mark DeRosa at third base. Yadier Molina will be behind the plate. They do have one left-hand batter in the lineup, Colby Rasmus, who was down with the flu bug last night, but he's in the starting lineup tonight. Adam Wainwright, a 14-game winner on the mound. On the mound for the Dodgers, Clayton Kershaw, a record of 8-7, and 1-0 and oh in his career against the Cardinals. He was brilliant at the end of July in St. Louis. Eight innings of shutout ball. It wasn't good enough, however, to get a decision. In that game, the Dodgers lost 3-2. to two. However, he certainly put a mark on it. The game went 15. So we're ready. The so-called rubber game. And it'll be Brendan Ryan, Julio Lugo, and then Albert Pujols. Kershaw, both feet on the rubber, waiting for Ryan to check in. Brendan hitting 286. Right hand hitting shortstop, goes after the first one and doesn't get it. And the count 0 and 1. Ryan, who went to Notre Dame High School in Sherman Oaks, one home run, 21 runs batted in. Leading off tonight, he hit in the number two slot in each of the first two games. The next one to Ryan is a ground ball to the left of Forkall, and Rafael goes back to get it and throws him out, one away. 
Let's take a look at the Dodgers with the leather here in the first inning. Ramirez, Kemp, and Eve here. Blake, Percall, Hudson, and Loney. And the battery of Martin handling Kershaw. Julio Lugo, who played briefly for the Dodgers back in 2006, hitting 343. He's been a vital contribution as far as the Cardinals are concerned with a home run, half a dozen runs batted in, and the pitch in for a strike. Skip Schumacher started at second base in each of the first two games, but left hand batters are hitting 182 against Kershaw, so Schumacher sits this one out. Clayton comes back 0 1 with a fastball low and a one ball, one strike count. Temperature 69 degrees. Beautiful summer's evening. Kershaw one out here in the first inning, no score. Now Clayton turns on the rubber and the 1 1 pitch, curveball, and that's low. Lugo holding up. 2 1 1 to count to Julio. See, young Clayton Kershaw, 21 years old. Lost in Arizona had a bad game there and believe it or not he's not lucky. The Dodgers are 12 and 12 in the games he starts. The pitch to Lugo is low ball three. Three and one the count. Julio facing Kershaw. Came up to the Dodgers in 2006. The 3 1 pitch is swung on, popped up into shallow right center. A trio of Dodgers. The middleman is easier to make the catch. So Lugo, a fly ball into right center. Boy, Orlando Hudson was way out there in right center field just in case. And now here is Albert Pujols. One reason the Dodgers have kept the Cardinals quiet is the fact that they've been able to shut down the power plant of St. Louis meaning Pujols Holiday and Ludwig the trio are just three for 22 in the series and Kershaw's high ball one that would translate into a 136 batting average also the three big hitters have just one run batted in and that was Pujols home run the other night against Charlie Hager. The 1 0 pitch is high and outside. Ball 2, 2 and 0. Oh. How does the young 21 year old do against Pujols? Not so good. Albert is 4 for 7 against Kershaw. That's a 571 batting average. 2 0 oh pitch on the way. Fastball high. No rest for the weary. If he pitches around Pujols, he gets Holiday. And Holiday is 4 for 9, hitting 444 against him. So Kershaw with two down first inning and the 3 0 pitch and Pujols swings and hits it foul off first out of play. Certainly with the numbers he puts up it is no surprise that Tony La Russa would give him the green light. Thirty nine home runs one hundred and five runs batted in. So three and one to Albert Pujols. Now the 3 1 pitch coming up to the first baseman is swung on and missed. Three and two. Pujols last night went 0 for 4, hit into a double play, and did not hit a ball out of the infield. In the first game, he hit one ball out of the infield and out of the outfield and into the stands. 3 2 pitch on the way, very high, and Albert draws a two out walk. So Kershaw goes all the way with Pujols to walk him, and now Matt Holliday. Holliday has certainly given the Cardinals a lift. They are 16 and 7 since the day he came back to the National League. Overall batting average 430 with the Cardinals. Five home runs, 22 runs batted in. Big Matt right hand batter out of his stretch goes Kershaw and the pitch to Holiday is swung on and missed. 0 and 1. Albert Pujols does everything well. He is a very big man. He's 6'3, about 230. And if you forget about him, well, he has stolen 11 out of 14. Though so Pujols takes his lead, Kershaw looks at him, and the strike one pitch to Holiday is swung on and whacked down the left field line, but that's going to go foul. 0 and 2 the count. So Matt Holiday, the big boy out of Oklahoma. 
one of the great high school quarterbacks but he opted to go to baseball. So Matt back up there no balls and two strikes impressive looking at 6 4 two thirty five out of Stillwater Oklahoma. Now the strike two pitch on the way to Matt Kershaw ready here he comes fastball foul back ninety two miles an hour but of course at this time of day it's seven seventeen according to the clock on the scoreboard we still have a powder blue sky and the lights have really not taken effect. So holiday back up a lot of power hit as many as thirty six for the Rockies and the strike two pitch on the way to Matt Kershaw delivers high and inside ball one one and two. We will always associate holiday with a home run that he hit here at Dodger Stadium. He hit it over the back wall in the Dodger bullpen right through where the three sisters the big palm trees stand. One and two. Out of a stretch Kershaw flips to first Pujols back on the bag held on by Gene Ploney. So Clayton Kershaw trying to get the Dodgers off in the right direction again after winning last night and the one two pitch to Matt Holliday is a breaking ball check swing strike three. Holliday backed off on his heels on the curveball and he's rung up by Field and Culbreth. No runs, no hits, a man left. At the end of half an inning, no score. Right of the moment, the Rockies have just beaten the Nationals 5 to 4. The Giants beat the Reds 1 to nothing behind Barry Zito. So the Dodger lead is 4. It'll either go to 3 and a half or back to 4 and a half. They have a five game lead over the Giants and that will change according to win or lose and here come the Dodgers now against Adam Wainwright a 14 game winner who is remarkable in a lot of categories and especially on the road and the first pitch to for call is a strike he is 14 and 7 but he is 9 and 1 on the road 23 consecutive starts he's worked at least six innings breaking ball is swung on and missed a high slider in the count 0 and 2 Adam Wainwright is six feet seven about two hundred and twenty five pounds born in Brunswick Georgia lives in St. Simons Island in Georgia and the right handed deals in the dirt ball one two years ago Adam Wainwright pitched his first complete game against the Dodgers it was August the 10th and he lost two to one he made one hundred and twenty one pitches James Loney hit a two run home run in the ninth inning to beat him Wayne Wright into his wind up Adams one two pitch on the way at the left foot of her call and a two ball two strike count Raphael hitting two sixty two with a half a dozen home runs thirty four runs batted in hitting two sixty five right two sixty one left and Wainwright comes back and he's low with a fastball ball three earlier in the year Wainwright had some troubles and he had to change his mechanics a little bit and he certainly got himself squared away. Interesting though with the nine and one record on the road his earned run average is far better at home. Three two pitch is a change up and a one hopper to shortstop Ryan and Brendan throws out for a call. The Raphael taps to short one down take a look at the Dodger lineup with for call then Kemp and Andre Ethier Manny Ramirez Casey Blake and James Loney Russell Martin Orlando Hudson and Clayton Kershaw. So with one out it is Matt Kemp bobblehead night a sellout crowd we understand and the folks thrilled with their bobblehead showing Matt holding up two hands to the sky after scoring or hitting a home run and Matt checks in hitting 312 and takes low ball one as far as uh, going up against Wainwright is concerned Matt Kemp two for five in the past 17 home runs 76 runs batted in and he takes low two and oh the count to Kemp with Andre Ethier on deck. 
No score. Bottom of the first inning. We're just starting. Wainwright staring in. Now Adam ready. His 2 0 pitch on the way is a ground ball to third. In front of it is Mark DeRosa. Kind of side arms it over to Pujols. Almost threw it away. So two down. And the batter now will be Andre Ethier. By the way, in looking at on uh, Mark DeRosa, when they were talking to Cardinal players about whether they should get John Smoltz, Mark DeRosa, and Adam Wainwright, uh, both of them in the Atlanta organization, and they both were singing the praises of Smoltz, and so they got him, and John will be pitching for the Cardinals against the Padres. Here's Andre Ethier. And Wainwright's pitch is a curveball as Ethier falls down. It's foul. No balls in one strike. Andre being assisted to his feet by Yadier Molina. Foul ball got him on the right foot. And Ethier has to take it off the ankle and then walk it off. The Dodgers were talking about Vicente Padilla. Larry Boa coaching at third for the Dodgers. Manage the Phillies, as I'm sure you know, and he managed Vicente Padilla in Philadelphia. Randy Wolf, who pitches for the Dodgers, as you know, was a teammate of Vicente Padilla, and they spoke highly of the newcomer. So Padilla will be in Albuquerque, and then he will pitch the first game against Colorado, and as we mentioned, Smoltz will pitch Sunday against San Diego. You never have enough pitching. 0 oh 1 the count to Andre Ethier with Manny Ramirez on deck. Two down. Wainwright into the windup and the strike one breaking ball drops off the plate. One ball and one strike. Ethier, 24 home runs, 81 runs batted in, hitting 285, and has always hit well at Dodger Stadium, better than 300. The 1 1 pitch and Andre a check swing dribbler up along third up with it in a hurry is DeRosa and nips him at first base. Andre all tied up on the pitch and rolls to third. Dodgers go out in order on ground balls and at the end of an inning no score. We go to the second inning as Adam Wainwright looks on retiring the Dodgers on ground balls. It took him only 12 pitches and now Clayton Kershaw will be ready to pitch in the second inning against Ludwig DeRosa and Molina. Ryan Ludwig has been shut down pretty much during the series as we mentioned and he is 0 for 7 against Kershaw who changes a curveball but not much of a hump to it. One ball and no strikes to Ryan. Ludwig hitting 266, 18 home runs, 74 runs batted in. Fastball fouled away, and the count one and one. Ludwig was the player of the month for July, and he is one for six in this series. Ludwig had a base hit in the seventh inning last night and scored on a single by Khalil Green. 1-1 one, one pitch is a line drive base hit into left field by a diving Blake. So Ludwig comes up with his first hit against Kershaw. That makes him one for eight. And the battle will be Mark DeRosa. Tony La Russa is very high on Clayton Kershaw. As Tony says, he is the real deal. And one thing that really convinced Tony La Russa was the game that Kershaw pitched in St. Louis. And what happened was Albert Pujols was the hitter and Kershaw deep in the count shook off his catcher twice and then threw a fastball and got Pujols. Big curveball to DeRosa in for a strike. And as Tony said there aren't very many 21 year olds who would shake off the catcher twice and then come back with a fastball to Albert Pujols and do it with confidence. So Tony is sold on him. Kershaw set at about the collarbone back with a fastball in the dirt that goes all the way to the backstop screen Ludwig advances to second on the wild pitch which by the way is the seventh given up by Clayton Kershaw. Though he came with a fastball usually you expect him to bounce the curve but that fastball landed right in front of the plate and then kangarooed hole high over Martin's head. So Ludwig at second, nobody out. 
DeRosa, Molina, and Rasmus trying to pick him up. Kershaw staring in. DeRosa working the bat back and forth. Now Kershaw out of his stretch and turns and backs off the rubber. One and one to count with Ryan Ludwig at second base. We're only in the second inning. No score. DeRosa, a Jersey boy. He's 34 years old, spent a lot of time in the Braves organization, then with the Rangers and the Cubs. 1-1 one, one pitch is fouled back. Talking about the Cubs, Lou Pinella and company will be here tomorrow night. And they will open up a four-game series. The Dodgers and the Cubs, well, they met on the road, and the Dodgers split four at Wrigley. One and two the count to Mark DeRosa, hitting only 226. Eight home runs, 15 runs batted in. DeRosa takes down and in for ball two, and the count two and two. The classic story about Mark DeRosa's father as a frustrated player who wanted to be a big leaguer and never made it, and his wife saying, Don't worry, you'll have a son one day who'll be a ball player. And here he is, Mark DeRosa, out of Passaic, New Jersey. And he swings and misses on a high fastball at 93 to blow him away. The Kershaw with his second strikeout nails DeRosa. Nothing fancy. He just threw it right by him. And the batter now will be Yadier Molina. So DeRosa, he bites the dust. And here is the catcher Molina hitting 294. Five home runs, 41 runs batted in. Molina rested last night. Jason LaRue caught. Molina, five home runs, 41 runs batted in, fouls it back, and the count 0 and 1. The younger brother of Ben and Jose Molina from Bayamon in Puerto Rico. Molina, well put together, 5'11 and a good solid 225. Been with the Cardinals since 2004. No balls and one strike to count. Kershaw right back with a pitch in the dirt and one ball and one strike. In November of last year, Molina's father Benjamin was coaching a youth league game in Puerto Rico. Yadier was at the field and his father collapsed and died from a heart attack. So a heartbreaking moment last year. For young Molina. He's 27 years old. Kershaw looked back at Ludwig. Now the 1 1 pitch, and that swung on and hit the deep left field. Ramirez goes back to backhanded. Ludwig, who is halfway to third, goes back to second. So Molina hits it hard and deep, but not deep enough to get Ludwig over. And of course, the big at bat was Mark DeRosa. If DeRosa advances Ludwig to third, well, that fly ball picks him up. But instead, DeRosa struck out, and it's still no score. And the batter is Colby Rasmus. He was in a bad way to go yesterday, flu symptoms, but come to think of it, center field is not a good spot tonight. You have two fellas fighting the flu playing out there. Slow curveball in for a strike. Matt Kemp couldn't play last night. He was down with flu symptoms and the same with Rasmus. But here they are in the grind tonight. 0 and 1 to Colby hitting 259. And of course left handers are really struggling hitting 182 against Kershaw. The next one is swung on and missed 0 and 2 the count. Rick Ankiel played center field in the first two games. Hank Hill had a game winning home run with a man aboard in the seventh. He had a single last night, and now he just draped on the railing watching his replacement, Rasmus. 0 oh, and 2 the count. Kobe waiting. Kershaw slow curveball, and Rasmus way out in front of it. Strike three. Third strikeout for Clayton Kershaw, and at the end of an inning and a half, no score. Clayton Kershaw has struck out three. He's made 32 pitches in the first two innings. And we go to the bottom of the second inning. No score. Manny Ramirez 
Casey Blake and then James Loney. Cardinals have done a good job in shutting down Manny in the series. He's batting 309, 13 home runs, 45 runs batted in. And the first pitch off the plate, ball one, one and oh. But take a look at Wainwright versus Ramirez. Manny is 0 for 3 with two strikeouts. One ball and no strikes the count. Wainwright into the windup. Adams 1-1 one, one pitch off the plate. Ball 2, 2 and 0. Oh. Wainwright struck out 12 Giants in July, so he can do it. Manny has the count his way, however. Two balls and no strikes. Wainwright from the first base side of the rubber and the 2 0 pitch on the hands fastball foul back and the count two and one Wainwright assumes the same position as Chris Carpenter the first base side of the rubber. They have a great punch with Carpenter followed by Wainwright followed by Pinero. The closer Ryan Franklin has 30 saves. 2 1 pitch on the way is taken a little low. Ball three. Three and one to count. Wainwright, a long look in to Yadier Molina on deck, Casey Blake. Now the 3 1 pitch to Manny Ramirez. Wainwright deals, fastball fouled away off first. Well back into what looks like it might be a sellout crowd. Three and two the count to Manny Ramirez. Adam Wainwright as a little boy growing up in Georgia naturally wanted to be an Atlanta Brave. In fact when he was about three years old he was wearing a jersey with Dale Murphy's number three on it. And to his heart's delight, he eventually was signed by Atlanta. 3 2 fastball is swung on and missed. And that was Wainwright challenging Ramirez. He threw it right by him in on the hands. So Ramirez is blown away on a fastball. And we have one out in the second inning. By the way, the fastball clock 93. So one out, second inning, and what should be a wonderful duel. When this series started you had to believe Chris Carpenter would be Charlie Hager. It was almost an upset. Blake takes ball one but Carpenter did beat Hager. Last night you had to believe Billingsley was going to beat Boggs and that worked out. The 1 0 pitch Blake slices a line drive grabbed by Pujols for the second out. Two down. But tonight with Kershaw and Wainwright it's anybody's guess. Two down and here comes James Loney. The Kershaw resting comfortably in a scoreless battle in the second inning. We told you about James Loney beating Wainwright back in 2007 with a ninth inning home run with a man aboard and I'm sure neither man will ever forget it. Loney overall hitting 280. Seven home runs 71 runs batted in the seven home runs all on the road. Wainwright ready delivers and the first one's in for a strike and the count 0 and 1. Wainwright by the way has given up more home runs. Well 13 than any of the other starters. Now the strike one pitch on the way and that slap to left field coming up in a hurry is Holiday to make the catch and that's that. So the Dodgers go one two three six in a row retired by Wayne Wright and at the end of two no score. Third inning no score in the ball game. the Dodgers and Cardinals Clayton Kershaw and Adam Wainwright youngsters of all ages here tonight taking in the ball game and we hope you'll include us in your plan starting tomorrow night the Phillies will be here. Dodgers concluding I say in the Phillies the Cubs when the Cubs finish the Dodgers will go out on the road Monday and a big three games with Colorado. Adam Wainwright who is a good hitting pitcher will start it off. He has two home runs this year and the big guy checks in and Kershaw ready. Clayton's first pitch to Adam is swung on and missed and the count 0 and 1. 
two home runs, four runs batted in. He also has 11 hits, including a couple of doubles. Now the strike one pitch on the way, and he takes a strike, and they count 0 and 2. He has five home runs in his career, and he has pinch hit five times for Tony Larusa this year, but he's 0 for 4 with a sacrifice. This time he grounds it to the right side to Orlando Hudson, and we have one away here in the third. You know the Dodgers annual celebration of Hispanic culture, food, music, and baseball returns September 5th. Viva Los Dodgers presented by Coca-Cola and Hyundai. Admission included with your ticket to that night's game at San Diego. Yep, the Padres will be here. So buy now at Dodgers.com slash Viva or call 866-Dodgers. One out, third inning, no score. And the batter, Brendan Ryan, who grounded his short in the first inning. Ryan takes a good fastball at the knees for a strike and the count 0 and 1. Kershaw has given up a walk and a single. He has also struck out three. Clayton comes right back 0 1 and his breaking ball on a check swing. No swing says Adrian Johnson umpiring at first. One and one to Brendan. Ryan who has that habit that reminds you so much of Matt Williams looks like he's going to take a bite out of his left shoulder. Now the one one pitch on the way and a big slow curveball in for a strike. One and two. Ryan a seventh round pick by the Cardinals six years ago and the one two pitch at his feet. Two balls and two strikes. Brendan says he's a bit hyper, especially playing baseball. High energy man. Two and two. Kershaw ready. Clayton back with a fastball rolled up the middle to his right. Goes Hudson to knock it down, but that's all. That's a do or die play. You're going away from the play. You're hoping the ball will find its way and into the heart of the glove. It doesn't. And it goes as a base hit. So trying to backhand on the dead run. The ball hit the heel of the glove. And Ryan has himself an infield single. So the batter now will be Julio Lugo. Lugo, born in the Dominican, last we checked, was living in Brooklyn. Went to Connor State Junior College in Oklahoma. So he's bounced around a bit. Julio waiting takes the first one a little low ball one. Lugo originally drafted by the Astros came up with Houston spent four years with them two with the Devil Rays then the Blue Jays then briefly with the Dodgers the Red Sox and now the Cardinals. One ball and no strikes. Kershaw out of a stretch a look over at Ryan the next pitch fouled away off to the right. One and one to count. Always like to tell the story because normally you hear a ball player talking about all oh, the impact his father had on him growing up. With Julio, it was his mom who was such a hard worker, she left the house every morning at 6:20, walked 36 blocks to work, rain, snow, whatever, and then working from eight to four, and then was hours over. She'd pick up again at another job and work from 4:30 to 9. One one pitch is lifted to the right side, moving over under it as Orlando Hudson backs out on the grass and makes the catch for the out. So Lugo pops it up, and with two down, it brings up Albert Pujols. We're not going to see Albert for a while, and we figure since this is the last game. We touch on a couple of things that we mentioned in the first two games of the series. The fact that they always thought he was much older than he really was. In high school, opposing coaches walked him intentionally 55 of the 88 times he came to the plate as a senior. They just thought he was a ringer. Kershaw ready and delivers, and Pujols takes a strike. The 33 times that they did pitch to Pujols, 
He hit eight home runs. Albert talks also about growing up in a hurry. When he met his wife to be, he was 18. I think she was maybe 20. And she had a, a baby girl who had Down syndrome. Strike one pitch, Albert, a big bouncer foul outside of third and down the line. They were married, and Albert, besides being the good husband and thoughtful father, has devoted his life to helping people with Down syndrome children. Last year, he won the Roberto Clemente Award given to the Major League player who best exemplifies the game of baseball. So he lives for others. He is he's quite a man besides being an incredible baseball player. Kershaw out of a stretch looks at Ryan. The strike two pitch is instead a throw to first. Ryan diving back on the bag. Ryan has stolen nine out of 15. With two out, it is very doubtful he would cheat Pujols with an at bat. Ryan checking his first base coach Dave McKay. Albert waiting, hitting 321, 39 home runs, 105 runs batted in. Albert and his wife Dee Dee have spent their lives raising money in the spirits of people with Down syndrome. Here's the strike two pitch coming up again another throw to first. We mentioned for a long time Stan Musial was always called the man in St. Louis always. So now they call Albert Pujols El Hombre. The strike two pitch. And very high, nice save by Russell Martin. That could easily have been a wild pitch. Pujols was born in Santa Domingo in the Dominican Republic, but really grew up right around Independence, Kansas. He was a 13th round pick by the Cardinals at a community college. He and Dee Dee, when they were first married, they were desperately poor, didn't have any money at all. They spent a grand total of $150 on their wedding and honeymoon. Later on, he worked briefly in a country club. He also worked in a pizzeria. Now here he is, a huge star. Unbelievable numbers. All right, Albert back up, one and two the count. Kershaw out of a stretch, another look at Ryan. Back to Pujols and it's fouled away. Still one and two. Being so involved in the Down syndrome, every year in St. Louis, there's what they call a buddy walk to raise money and awareness for the National Down Syndrome Society, and he's the chairman. Every year, one child will ask him to hit a home run, and he's gone six for six. One two pitch and Pujols grounds it foul outside a third down the line. One and two the count. Albert checking the bat for the moment. No score third inning Cardinals no runs two hits Dodgers no runs no hits. Brendan Ryan standing at first takes a lead held on by Loney and the one two pitch to Pujols Kershaw ready and delivers curveball but it stayed up and in two and two the count Kershaw and Pujols well we told you that Pujols was four for seven he walked in the first inning so he is still four for seven and on deck another tough hitter in Matt Holliday. Two and two to Pujols. Kershaw again a look over at first. Now the two two pitch breaking ball is low dropped out of the mitt of Russell Martin slow curve ball down better you down than up three and two the count. So quite a confrontation here and you figure over the years they'll have quite a few. Albert is 29 years old, Kershaw 21. 
Clayton hides the ball back of his left hip now out of his stretch. Ryan a cautious lead at first then goes and the pitch is a check swing. They'll look no swing for ball four. So runners at first and second two down and Matt Holliday coming up. Earlier we were talking about the home run he hit here against Elmer descends. It was a curveball and he hit it over the back wall at Dodger Stadium's bullpen. In those days they didn't have any ivy on the wall. It was a monstrous shot. That was September of 2006. They've really dressed it up now. It's beautiful out there. So here's Matt with two on two out no score third inning. And the pitch is a fastball high ball one one and oh. Holiday struck out in the first inning. He is one for nine in the series. So he came in here breathing fire. And so far the Dodgers have cooled him off. Kershaw ready. The 1 0 pitch to Holiday is low and inside ball two. So Clayton obviously being extremely careful against Pujols. Now he has to do the same thing, walk the same path with Matt Holiday. Two and zero, oh the count to Matt. Kershaw checks Ryan at second, back with a pitch high and tight. Ball three on deck is Ryan Ludwig. Matt Holiday, in those salad years in Colorado, is high. 36 home runs and 137 runs batted in. Here's the 3 0 pitch. They could green light him. And Holiday takes inside ball four. So after the single by Ryan up the middle, with two out, two walks to load the bases, Rick Honeycutt going out to try to help. And the batter will be Ryan Ludwig. Now, Ludwig. Coming into the game was 0 for 7 and had struck out four of the seven at bats against Kershaw. However, Ludwig in his first at bat tonight promptly singled a center. So Ryan hitting 364 while they have a big meeting discussing him right this very minute. Ryan Ludwig. At a satellite beach, Florida, but lives in Las Vegas. He went to school in Nevada. He was the first player since Hideki Matsui and Lefty O'Doul to hit 30 home runs and have 100 RBIs at the age of 30, while having had 750 or less career at bats. I mean, he really blossomed last year, wound up with 37 home runs. Kershaw is ready to make his 24th pitch. Ludwig right hand batter takes fastball in the dirt ball one. So you can understand Kershaw at 21 perhaps trying a little too hard. And one of the things I'm sure Honeycutt told him take it easy. Just rely on your stuff. Don't force it. One and oh the count. Clayton out of a stretch with the bases loaded and two out. And the 1 0 pitch to Ludwig is swung on and missed. 1 and 1 on a breaking ball. The Ludwig, who's a big fella, 6'3, 210, kind of walks away to think it over. Ludwig hit 37 home runs for the Cardinals last year and 113 runs batted in. The 1 1 pitch is a breaking ball, swung on and missed. And a big break on that thing. It was almost in the dirt. So Ryan backs out. Kershaw walking around on the mound. And a one and two count. Boy, this crowd is trying to root Kershaw out of the trouble. One and two the count. Ryan at third, Pujols at second, Holiday at first. Pitch to Ludwig, swung on and missed. Kershaw had to work hard, but he strands three. Larusa takes a walk and sits down, and at the end of two and a half, no score. Bottom of the third inning, no score in the ball game. The Cardinals are very frustrated. They have left five men on base, but Kershaw had to work awfully hard. 
twenty seven pitch inning and he's made fifty nine pitches in three innings as Martin takes ball one. Russell had a very solid July has cooled off in August. He is two for four in the series batting two sixty three. Wainwright ready and comes back swung on and missed looked like a off speed breaking ball one and one the count. Adam Wainwright trying to win his 15. He was the Cardinal player rep a year ago though they think highly of him as far as being mentally efficient as well. Another off speed curveball swung on and missed Martin almost coming out of his shoes. One and two the count. You get fastballs and a change up curves and a slider. That change up that off speed pitch from the either straight change or the breaking ball had really been something for him. Adam looks down the barrel to get a sign Molina setting a target and the pitch to Martin breaking ball low Molina on his knees and two balls and two strikes. The Cardinals sent J.D. Drew and Eli Marrero to the Braves getting Wainwright Jason Marquise and Ray King Marquise moved on and won tonight for Colorado Martin pops it up on the right side Pujols calling and then Lugo comes over and takes it away. So one down. That'll bring up Orlando Hudson. So for Adam Wainwright he's now retired seven in a row. Rain White in a sense a late bloomer. He was a tremendous athlete in high school. He was an all state kicker and a wide receiver played basketball with Kwame Brown. He was also an excellent goalie in soccer and would you believe it, he played football as well. So the big guy into the windup and the pitch to Orlando Hudson is high ball one one and oh. However he was disappointed. In October of 2003, he was among 30 players vying for 24 roster spots on the U.S. Olympic qualifying team, and he didn't make it. Hudson takes low ball, too. He was pretty disillusioned about that. And yet, in the 2006 World Series, in relief, in a little more than nine innings, he struck out 15. Little roller to the right side to Lugo. Julio straightens up and throws him out. And we have two down in the third inning. You know, fans can now say big on the Dodgers and Nickelback with a one of a kind rock star pack. You receive a ticket to a Dodger game, a ticket to see Nickelback perform September 3rd, and a limited edition Dodger World Tour shirt, all starting at $35. So you can buy now at Dodgers.com slash Nickelback. Two down. Clayton Kershaw swings, doesn't get the first one, and the count 0 and 1. Wainwright has retired eight in a row. One ball to the outfield, Loney a fly ball to Holiday. Now the strike one pitch on the way, swung on and missed 0 and 2. Of the eight outs, four on the ground. Pop fly and a line drive that Blake hit right at Pujols. Strike two pitch is punched up the middle. Ryan a long way to go, but he comes up with it to make the play. So Brendan Ryan chases the ground ball down. Dodgers go out nine in a row retired by Adam Wainwright. And at the end of three, no score. Dodger baseball on prime ticket is brought to you by Jack in the Box. Right now, get the $2.99 big deal featuring a cheeseburger, a taco, small fries, and a small drink for just $2.99. And by Hankook Tires. Tame the road with Hankook Tires. Time now for our Aflac trivia question with the Cardinals in town since 1961. Who are the only three Cardinals pitchers to lead the National League in wins? Since 61. Well, I know one who'll come to mind right away, but we'll see what you can come up with and give you the answer in a little while. Meanwhile, fourth inning, Adam Wainwright has retired nine in a row, resting comfortably in the dugout. 
and he is doing it with a minimum number of pitches. 33 pitches in three innings which on that pace 99 pitches for the game. Kershaw's the other way. Clayton has made 59 pitches in three innings. He's been in constant trouble struck out Ryan Ludwig with the bases loaded to get off the hook in the third. The Cardinals have left five men in three innings and now DeRosa Molina and Rasmus. This was a very memorable day in baseball history and it involved St. Louis but not the Cardinals. It involved the St. Louis Browns. There might be many of you who are unaware of the fact that there were two teams in St. Louis for a long time. Ball one to DeRosa. The St. Louis Browns at the time their leader was Bill Veck an extremely colorful man. The 1 0 pitch is taken for a strike and Bill got the idea and got away with it. The Browns were playing the Detroit Tigers. The pitcher for Detroit was Bob Kane C A I N. Curveball hit down the right field line and that's going to go out of play so we can tell you the story anyway who came up to the plate for the St. Louis Browns then Eddie Goodell G A E D E L thing about Eddie Goodell was he was 43 inches tall <laughs> poor Bob Kane trying to throw a strike to a fellow less than four feet tall walked him on four pitches. That was Eddie's only major league appearance. Beck's idea of playing the midget was legal at the time but it's later outlawed. But here's the big connection. This is what makes it rather amazing. Here's the one two pitch to DeRosa and that's flared over first down the line. It's going to drop for a base hit and then kick away retrieved there by Epier. So DeRosa will hold with a single. Anyway the uniform that Eddie Goodell wore the number on the back said one eighth one slash eight that uniform belonged to a kid at the time who still has the uniform and is a general partner of the St. Louis Cardinals and the story comes alive today 58 years later. So here's Yadier Molina with DeRosa at first in the fourth. No runs three hits for the Cardinals nothing across for the Dodgers. DeRosa does not have a stolen base. Molina up there a good hitter who does not strike out. So you have a perfect combination here for hit and run. They're cleaning off another beach ball so time out for the moment. Give you an idea of how good Molina is. He has had about over in fact not about over 400 plate appearances and he has struck out 29 times. The Kershaw working on Molina and looking over at DeRosa. Breaking ball strike 0 and 1. Molina only had two at bats. He was 0 for 2 against Kershaw coming into the game. Fly to left field, so he's 0 for 3. Had a good look at Jose Aquindo down there in the third base coaching box. 0 and 1. 0 oh, and 2 looked like he was trying to take a shot at right field. No balls and two strikes to Yadier Molina. Then you have Colby Rasmus, a left hand hitter, the only left hand hitter in the lineup. Just off the plate. One and two. Light breeze blowing out to right field. No score, fourth inning. Wainwright has retired nine in a row in direct contrast. Kershaw has been in constant trouble, but for Clayton, so far, so good. 
one and two. Fastball line down the right field line foul. So Molina certainly tried to go to right field with the count 0 and 1. That time he just took the fastball where it was and lined it foul. 1 and 2. If you reverse that count, if you make it two balls, one strike, you would certainly be looking for a hit and run. Molina. To try to avoid, he has grounded into 22 double plays. And that's fouled away. So you have a very good contact hitting catcher who runs pretty slow, paying the price of all those squats. Makes contact, doesn't strike out, hits a lot of DP, so you're always looking for a play. No score, fourth inning. Molina talking to Field and Culbert, the plate umpire, making Kershaw wait. One and two. Fastball fouled away. So as we said, he is a contact hitter, a little annoyed with himself right now. And he'll take another look at Akendo. Meanwhile, Mark DeRosa stands at first, nobody out, fourth inning. Curveball foul back. Though he's given him the store, and it's a one and two count. No runs, three hits for the Cardinals, no runs, no hits for the Dodgers. We're in the top of the fourth. Dodgers have split 26 games with the Central Division. Fastball and that's whacked into left center field and deep on the run is Kemp and Ramirez. It will land between them. Manny picks up the ball. Rounding third is DeRosa. The pro to the plate is going to go to the backstop. And over to third goes Molina as the Cardinals lead one to nothing. Manny Ramirez and Matt Kemp converging in deepest left center field. He had the feeling that that might have been caught, but of course it wasn't. It was so high hit that you figured somebody might be able to get under it. And Ramirez held his hand out as if he thought he was going to catch it. And then he and Kemp kind of brushed together. No real chance at all to get DeRosa. It'll be a double, a run batted in, and then for call, we'll draw an error. On that wide throw, accounting for Molina's presence at third base. So the Cardinals break through, take a one to nothing lead. One ball and no strikes now to Colby Rasmus. The Dodger infield, not up. Hudson is back a bit with a left hand hitter at the plate. Breaking ball strike. One and one. Yadier Molina, as he stands at third, fulfilling the definition of the contact hitter. As we said, he only struck out 29 times this year. He had an eight pitch at bat, five foul balls, and then double. One and two, the count. One run, four hits for the Cardinals. So they finally break through. Rasmus followed by a pretty good hitting pitcher in Adam Wainwright. One and two to Kobe. Two and two.
Colby Rasmus out of a Columbus Georgia lives at Phoenix City in Alabama two and two foul back Colby's father was a very good player he was a 10th round draft pick but never moved out and he's now a coach at Russell County High School. Two and two. Kobe's brother Corey was a first round pick by the Texas Rangers a couple of years ago. What did he do with the bonus money? Bought a nice home for his parents in Phoenix City, Alabama. Down he goes. Joining a list of left hand hitters who find Clayton Kershaw almost unhittable. Remember, left hand batters were hitting 182 against Kershaw. Rasmus is the only left hand batter in the Cardinal lineup, and he has struck out twice. Five strikeouts for Clayton. And now here's Adam Wainwright who grounded out. The Dodger infield comes up, and then for call backs off just a little bit. Ball one with the fastball. Wainwright checking. Let's see about him bunting. He has a half a dozen sacrifices, but you can't imagine him trying to squeeze in Yadier Molina. At his feet, ball two. Certainly gives you a nice strike zone. He's six feet seven. Akendo talking to Molina. The pitch count is really piling up on Kershaw because of foul balls. And that's ball three. The Cardinals have fouled off 18 pitches. The Kershaw has now made 82 pitches. And Wainwright, he's made 33. It's as different as left is to right. On deck, Brendan Ryan. And he walked him. Kershaw putting Honeycutt and Torrey through the ringer right now. Clayton has walked Pujols twice, Holiday once. That kind of makes sense for those three. But now he walks Wainwright. And with runners at first and third and one out, Brendan Ryan coming up. Dodgers, of course, would love to turn a double play here. And for Ryan, he is grounded into six. But when you talk about double plays, the Dodgers have done pretty well. They've turned 87. The Cardinals lead the major leagues in turning double plays with 114. So Jose Akendo trying to help Brendan Ryan a little bit with pitch location. Of course, Akendo was a wonderful player. One of those fellows when you saw him play, then when you talked to his manager, you knew that one day soon, Jose would be involved in coaching, and perhaps one day, he'll be a manager. He's from Puerto Rico, and he's 46 years old. Played a long time with the Cardinals. All right, here's Brendan Ryan, grounded to short and singled off the glove of Orlando Hudson. Runners at first and third. One out. And a strike. In the inning, DeRosa flared a single to right. Molina, after fouling off five, had an eight pitch at bat, doubled a left center on a ball that, well, you'd have to talk to Ramirez and Kent as to whether one of them should have caught it. Led to the run. 0 and 1 to Ryan. And line foul over the head of Molina, 0 and 2. You don't think about it, but especially at this level, 
you're a runner a third coming down the line and some of these big hitters you are defenseless. No balls and two strikes. Off speed breaking ball in the dirt. One and two the count to Brendan Ryan. The Kershaw is laboring. He can't continue on this pace at all. Making too many pitches and as we said far too many foul balls. One and two. Fastball. <laughs> foul ball. This will be as if he needs it. He made 27 pitches in the third inning and this pitch coming up will be his 29th in the fourth inning and he's backed up by James McDonald. One and two the count to Brendan Ryan. Curve in the dirt gets away but the run is hold. Nice block by Martin. Two and two the count. So Brendan Ryan who is anything but superstitious wearing number 13. One out first and third a run in Cardinals lead one to nothing. Fastball foul back. So Kershaw has five strikeouts. But it's been a struggle trying to put hitters away. Last year, Ryan hit 261 against left handers. Two and two. Fastball whacked into center. Base hit. Scoring is Molina. Stopping at second is Wainwright. And the Cardinals lead two to nothing. And the batter will be Julio Lugo. So Ryan says thank you after being congratulated by Dave McKay. Remember now the Rockies won and the Giants won. And the Dodgers are trailing two to nothing. So a line drive base hit by Brendan Ryan a run batted in. Lugo has flied to right and popped up. Curveball for a strike. The DeRosa single Molina doubled to left center questionable as to whether it could have been caught DeRosa scored Molina went to third on the throw that got by Martin and with one out Wainwright walks and then Ryan singles in Molina and now one ball one strike count to Julio Lugo with the big man Albert Pujols on deck. One and one. Ball two, two and one. What's that song? Me and Julio down by the the schoolyard. Yeah. Well, he lives in Brooklyn. Julio down by the schoolyard. This will be the 35th pitch thrown by Clayton Kershaw here in the fourth inning. Fastball. We mentioned earlier there were 18 foul balls. They're going to double that shortly. That, of course, is maddening for a pitcher. He comes so close and he can't put the hitter away. Two and two. Wainwright at second, Ryan at first, one out, two balls and two strikes. Fastball fouled away. Lugo has always been a battler. He had 284 for the Red Sox. Came over to the Cardinals. He's hitting 340 for them. Last year with the Red Sox, he hit a solid 268. Two and two. 
And low ball three. The Clayton has almost had it. I can't imagine they would leave him in with Pujols. I think that's what James McDonald is doing, getting ready for Albert. Three and two with one out. Runners do not go. Fastball is lifted to left. Manny coming in. He's about there. So two on, two out, and here comes Albert. Now let's see. Here comes Joe. It didn't figure that a tiring Kershaw would be allowed to pitch to Pujols. Not while it's still a ball game. It's only two nothing Cardinals. So Joe will come and get him, and James McDonald will be brought in to pitch to the Big Bird. For Kershaw, he made 97 pitches in three and two third innings, and we'll be back. A bitterly disappointed Clayton Kershaw gets into the fourth inning, makes 97 pitches, gives up two runs and five hits, and the big play was the high fly ball. Do you think it might have been caught? You see Manny hold his glove out, and then you see Matt Kemp on the dead run, and that was a huge play. It scored the run. So the only way to know would be to talk to both of them. But here comes Albert now. Two on, two out, two nothing Cardinals. Pujols walked twice against Kershaw. And now McDonald. And he promptly hits him with his first pitch. Pujols, all he did was look, never said a word. And now Matt Holliday's coming up. It doesn't make sense to hit Pujols. Not when Holliday's coming. It was a fastball that got him right on the left hip. Right there. For James McDonald, that would be the fourth man that he has hit. And that loads him up. And here's Holiday. And almost a wild pitch, ball one. Holiday 0 for 1 against McDonald. Pujols was 1 for 1. Pujols, by the way, has been hit seven times this year. One and one the count. Adam Wainwright has certainly spent quite a time on the bases. In the dirt, another nice save by Martin. DeRosa single, Molina doubled the gap in left center. DeRosa scored. Molina took third on the throw to the plate that got away. Wainwright walked. Ryan singled to drive in the run. And now Pujols hit by the pitch. Two and two. Fouled right into Martin's mask. Two and two, so the deuces are as wild as they get. Two balls, two strikes, two out, two nothing. Cardinal. And there's a fly ball to right field. Ethan is there. So the Dodgers get out of it cheaply enough. Kershaw is charged with two, and he'll call it a night. And at the end of three and a half, two to nothing, St. Louis. With the Cardinals leading the Dodgers, and we go to the bottom of the fourth, two to nothing. Remember the story we told about Bill Vack and Eddie Goodell? Well, here are some pictures. There is Eddie, 43 inches tall. Can you believe it? In a crouch. And can you imagine Bob Kane, the pitcher? There's also Eddie wearing that uniform number, one eighth. 
that uniform number belonged to the gentleman who is now a general partner of the St. Louis Cardinals. Bottom of the fourth inning, two to nothing Cardinals, and the Dodgers are very fortunate. You realize the Cardinals have left eight men in the first four innings. They could have broken this thing wide open. Here's for call, then Kemp and Defier. One problem with the Cardinals, they get men on base, but they're one for eight with runners in scoring position. Raphael grounded to short in the first inning. One ball, one strike. The Rockies defeated the Nationals 5 to 4. Jason Marquise won his 14th. Slow curveball, and he held the bat back. Two balls and one strike. Marquise went six innings. Clint Barmas hit his 20th home run. And Josh Bard homered for the Nationals. Rockies five, Nationals four. And the Giants really had a dandy. Ground ball to Lugo. One away. The Giants defeated the Reds one to nothing. Nate Sheerholz had an RBI double to account for the only run. Barry Zito was the winning pitcher. Zito is now 9 and 11. And Brian Wilson came in and got the save. So a lot of pressure on the Dodgers. They could very well wind up leading Colorado by three and a half and the Giants by four and a half unless they turn this thing around. Matt grounded to third in the first inning on his bobblehead. One ball and no strikes. Checking performances on bobblehead night. Casey Blake was one for two with a walk on his night. And of course, Manny, you may remember, I would think, that pinch hit grand slam on his bobblehead night. And a reminder there'll be a second Ramirez bobblehead given away on September 16th. Bobblehead bobble. Fouled away. Two and two. Ten in a row retired by Adam Wainwright. On deck, Andre Ethier. Fouled a good fastball back. That was 93. Adam Wainwright, a couple of years ago, Jason Isringhausen was hurt down the stretch, and he became the closer for a world's championship team as a rookie. Breaking ball, hit to Ryan. Brendan sure gets rid of it in a hurry. Two down. Remember the trivia question? Well, we were talking about Cardinal pitchers. And they were going back to 1961. Who are the only three Cardinal pitchers to lead the National League in wins? Well, to refresh your memory and mention three big birds, the one that would always come to mind would be Bob Gibson. Then Juan Tough Dominican, as he called himself, Joaquin Andujar, and Matt Morris. Strike deep here. Oh and one to Andre. Oh and two. Dodgers are up against a very tough pitcher. Since the All Star break of 2007, Adam is just one of six pitchers in all of Major League Baseball with an earned run average below three.
0 and 2. In the dirt. Wayne Wright is 24. Looks a lot older. He'll be 25 the end of the month. Fouled away. If you're batting 284, 24 home runs, 81 runs batted in. Got him. Fastball right down the middle, it appeared. So Wainwright, who doesn't have a power people, that's strikeout number two. And at the end of four, two nothing St. Louis. We're going to the fifth inning with the Cardinals leading the Dodgers two to nothing. Coming up, the Cubs. Lou Pinella and company here Thursday and Friday night to begin what should be a wild weekend Saturday afternoon Sunday afternoon and then the Dodgers have the confrontation the head on collision with the Colorado Rockies starting Tuesday night. Ball one to Ryan Ludwig single leading off the second struck out with the bases loaded in the third. Two and zero. Oh. For those who joined us late, John Smoltz has agreed to join the St. Louis Cardinals, and we understand that John will be pitching Sunday against the San Diego Padres. The Dodgers, meanwhile, signed Vicente Padilla, released by Texas. He had won eight. Padilla will go to the minors to rehab and just brush up and then he'll make a start in Colorado. There you check Smoltz has won 212 Cy Young Award winner eight time all star Padilla I can remember so well is 194 when he broke in with Arizona Buck Showalter said this man can really pitch. Well the Dodgers hope he can do it. He's from Managua in Nicaragua. DeRosa struck out and then led off with a single to right field in the fourth inning and that produced two runs. Ground ball to Blake. Two down in the fifth, and the battle will be Yadier Molina. What a nat bat he had in the fourth inning. Molina fouled off five. It was an eight pitch at bat, and then he hit that ball into the gap in left center between Kemp and Ramirez, and it led to the two run inning. Ball one. Molina hitting a solid 295. One and one. Looking at Molina, he's been in 107 games. About 420 played appearances. 29 strikeouts. Two and one. Fouled away. Molina, not a power hitter. He has five home runs. He kisses that medal just about before every pitch. 
And he drives it to right center. There's nobody there. That's going to go to the other wall. And he'll have himself his second double. So he short hopped the wall in left center. Now he short hops the wall in right center. And that'll bring up Colby Rasmus. Well, Molina with two doubles tonight. He has 18 doubles. Rasmus has struck out twice, but each of those at bats was against Clayton Kershaw. And it will take the bat out of his hands, take their best chance against Adam Wainwright. One thing about Wainwright, I mean, we mentioned the fact that he's a pretty good hitter. Do you know, as a rookie, Adam homered on the first pitch of his first career at bat? It was in San Francisco in May of 2006. The old knuckleballer Hoyt Wilhelm did that for the New York Giants back in 1952. And John Montefusco, known as the Count, did it for the San Francisco Giants in 1974. They're the only three relievers to hit their first home run and gain a win in the same game. Adam Wainwright. So here he is, two on, two out, grounded out and walked. Up and away, but when you're six feet seven, nothing is really up. Oh and one. Drop that curveball in. Oh and two. Remember the Cardinals have left eight in the first four innings. Little roller. Blake will tag the runner, and that's it. The birds leave two more, and they've left ten in five innings. Cardinals lead the Dodgers two to nothing. It's time to bring you up to speed with the AT&T Rapid Rewind. AT&T, the nation's fastest 3G network. AT&T, your world delivered. Bottom of the fifth inning, two to nothing St. Louis. The Dodgers, no runs, no hits through four. Ramirez struck out on a three and two fastball on the inside part of the plate back in the second inning. Starts him with a breaking ball this time, ball one. Wainwright against Ramirez. Manny is 0 for 4 against him. Fastball missed. 2 and 0. Wainwright has retired 12 in a row. And he's behind 3 and 0 now to Manny with Casey Blake on deck. Wainwright strike out to walk not quite 3 to 1 but close. That's in there 3 and 1. Three and two fastball up and in. Interesting right now. Wainwright has not given up a walk in his last 
almost 28 innings. Yet he leads the staff with 53 walks. Slow curve ball for ball four. Whoa, that was close. I think Wainwright thought he might have had it. So the big curve ball away, and that breaks the perfect string. There it is. So the walk will bring up Casey Blake. Now Blake has hit the hardest ball so far in previous four innings. That was the line drive he hit that was speared by Albert Pujols. So for the first time now Wainwright pitches out of a stretch. And a strike fastball. Blake hitting 278. Casey with 13 home runs, 66 runs batted in. Curveball, that's in there. The fastball curveball and Wainwright out in front, 0 and 2. And got him on another curveball. That is the third strikeout for Adam Wainwright. One out, and James Loney coming up. Loney, a long fly ball to left field in the second inning. Again, we'll remind you it was two years ago. A scoreless battle in St. Louis. And Loney hit a two run home run to beat Wainwright and the Cardinals two to one. Hit the home run in the ninth inning. James hitting 279, seven home runs, 71 runs batted in. Starts him breaking ball, but not a good break. One ball and no strikes. Ground ball to short. Ryan to Lugo. And the club that leads the major leagues in double plays comes up with their 115. And at the end of five, it's 2 0 St. Louis. On this day in 1983, the Dodgers made a trade. They traded away Dave Stewart and Ricky Wright to Texas, and they picked up left hander Rick Honeycutt. He helped the nine games to help the Dodgers to win the division and go on to lose, however, in 83 to the Philadelphia Phillies. Rick Honeycutt stayed with the Dodgers for five years, then moved on to Oakland, and eventually he came back and is now the current Dodger pitching coach. Let's go back to this one. And the last we heard of Dave. Of uh, Dave Stewart, he's a a player's agent, and Rick helping the Dodger pitchers. Brendan Ryan hitting 290 with a home run, 22 runs batted in. James McDonald picking up for Clayton Kershaw. Clayton three and two third innings made 97 pitches. And as we mentioned the foul ball just really took a lot out of him. Two and one the count. In three innings Clayton Kershaw made 59 pitches. In five innings Adam Wainwright has made 59 pitches. Chopper to Blake. One down and Julio Lugo coming up. Cutting that second baseman, Julio Lugo. Lugo's hit the ball in the air, flied to right, popped to second, flied to left. 
On deck, Albert Pujols. Fouled away. Lugo batting 329. Six feet one, maybe 170 pounds. One and one. Two runs, six hits for the Cardinals. No runs, no hits for the Dodgers. Through five. By and large, you don't really put too much emphasis on no hits until you get to the seventh inning. One and two. Fastball pulled back a third. Fair ball dropped by Casey. No play. So we'll see how they rule it. And it will be E5. The Lugo reaches on the error charge. Nice backhand pick, and then Casey let it get away. The well, Blake draws the error, and now here's Pujols. Pujols walked in the first, walked in the third, and was nailed on the left hip by the first pitch from James McDonald. So this will be a second confrontation. Starts in breaking ball strike 0 and 1. Remember when McDonald was pitching up at AT&T Park against the Giants he hit actually grazed Pablo Sandoval but the umpires did not rule it a hit batter. Uh, there was a brouhaha over it. 0 and 2 the count. Curveball, fastball, and that fastball clocked at 95. Albert hitting 321. And down he goes. So Messrs. Pujols, Holiday, and Ludwig. Have really been shut down, and it continues tonight. They were combined three for 22. Pujols is 0 for 1, so 3 for 23. Holiday is 0 for 2, 3 for 24, and then Ludwig is 1 for 3. And that's in the air, foul curling back into the crowd. 0 and 1 the count. And that trio of Pujols, Holiday, and Ludwig still have collectively one run batted in. And that was a home run in game one. Albert Pujols lined a knuckleball into the left field stand. And despite doing a great job in stopping the power plant, the Dodgers still split two and are behind in game three. Two and one to Matt Holiday. Struck out, walk, fly to right. And a fly ball. Kemp started back. Now moves over. So no runs, no hits, and there and a man left, and at the end of five and a half, Cardinals two, Dodgers not out. Cardinals lead the Dodgers two to nothing, bottom of the sixth inning. Wainwright has made only 59 pitches. He's had nine ground ball outs. The one ball that was hit hard, Casey Blake, hit a line drive speared by Albert Pujols. And the Dodgers still looking for their first hit. It will be Russell Martin, Orlando Hudson, 
And then a hitter, I would assume, for James McDonald. And popped up on the left side, Brendan Ryan. One away on one pitch. We're going to put the freeze frame on what is the big play of the night. That's Molina after fouling off five. And here's where the ball lands. Ramirez with the glove out, and then he and Kemp brush together. The run comes over. You'd really have to talk to Manny and to Matt Kemp, not to Molina. He was running. Has a hard ground ball base hit. So it comes with one out in the sixth inning, and it belongs to Orlando Hudson. This big crowd has been forced to sit on its hands, and Juan Pierre will give them a reason to move the hands. So Orlando a base hit, and Pierre coming up. Pierre started in last night's game when one for five with a double. Juan Pierre hitting 319, 26 runs batted in. Coming off the bench, he's had nine for 28. So he's done very well, and of course you know he's done exceptionally well in a starting role. Cardinals lead 2-0. And ball one. If you're Tony LaRussa, however, you have to be very unhappy. Cardinals have left 11 men in six innings. They could have broken this thing wide open and they have failed to do it. And ball two. Wainwright walked his first man when he walked Ramirez in the fifth inning. Eventually got Loney to ground into the double play. Two nothing Cardinals bottom of the six heats on the Dodgers both the Rockies and the Giants won. Big bounce of the Pujols no play at second so he's on the bag. Two down and Rafael for call coming up. Number 15 Rafael for call. So the Dodgers with a runner at second and two out. Rafael for call grounded to short and grounded to second. 0 for 2, hitting 260. Slow breaking ball for a strike. For call with 34 runs batted in. James McDonald certainly did well in picking up for Clayton Kershaw. One and one slider right down at Raphael's left foot. Always think of that great slider Steve Carlton had. If he were a right hand batter, his slider was very dangerous. It could break your ankle. Pulled foul. One and two. For call came into the game. Hitting better than 500 against Wainwright. He was 7 for 13. Now he is 7 for 15. One ball, two strikes. Fastball fouled away. Wainwright, very much of a competitor, 
We talked about what he did as a rookie in 06. But he also bit the bullet, never told anybody about it. But he pitched a bunch of innings with tendonitis in nine, 2007. Most of that year. Breaking ball two and two. Yadier Molina talking to him. Last year, Wainwright was on the DL. He sprained the middle finger of his right hand. Two balls and two strikes. Hudson at second base, the only Dodger to get that far, and the only Dodger with a hit so far. Deuces wild. Ball three. On deck, Matt Kemp. Raphael for call has walked 47 times, struck out 69, though in his role as a leadoff man, trying to get aboard any way he can. Three and two. Breaking ball, a comebacker. And the lob to Pujols, and that's it. No runs, one hit, one left. At the end of six, two nothing, Cardinal. Adam Wainwright has made 71 pitches through six innings. Though he's been sailing along, averaging just a hair under 12 pitches an inning. The only base hit allowed, the single up the middle by Orlando Hudson, who is also the only Dodger to get as far as second base through six innings. Though in the seventh inning, the Cardinals will be facing Ronald Belisario. Though it's been Kershaw three and two thirds, McDonald two and a third, and now Belisario. Ryan Ludwig single to center struck out fly to right the strikeout hurt he struck out with the bases loaded back in the third inning fastball strike Cardinals have left 11 men in six innings twice they've left the bases loaded two and one. Tomorrow night, the Chicago Cubs, Tom Grosolani and Jeb Weaver. Game one of the four game series. Fouled away. The Dodger pitching for the Cubs series. Weaver tomorrow night. Randy Wolf Friday night. Knuckleballer Charlie Hager Saturday afternoon. Chad Billingsley Sunday afternoon. Billingsley who turned in a gem last night going a strong six and Charlie Hager sitting alongside of him. Two and two. Three and two the count to Ryan Ludwig. Martin has spent the whole night in the dirt. And strike three called. Ludwig thought surely that was ball four. Fielding Culbert disagrees. One out in the seventh inning. The Ludwig thoroughly frustrated, having struck out twice, one for four. Now Mark DeRosa. Right. DeRosa struck out single to right, rounded to third. He led off the fourth inning, and that's when the Cardinals scored their two runs. 
Another strike. Belisario hitting 93 consistently. 0 and 2. Saturday, Belisario reinstated from the DL. He missed 28 games with a strained right elbow. He's throwing hard. This would be his fifth appearance since he returned. Two and two. Fouled away. Belisario is one of the great stories of the year. You talk about being unheralded. I mean, he arrived in camp way back in spring training and nobody had really heard anything about him. And now he's a workhorse. Look out. I've got the bat, thank goodness. It was a 94 mile an hour fastball. Just kept running in, check swing, hit the bat. And Mark is still there. Two and two. DeRosa went to the University of Pennsylvania. He also is working on a marketing degree from the Wharton School of Business and he played a lot of football and he lifts one and Orlando going out and makes the catch. You know kids can train for the big leagues on the field here at Dodger Stadium during junior Dodger training days tomorrow or Friday. Children 7 to 12 learn baseball skills from coaches and players and receive a free Dodger jersey. So to book your spot, visit Dodgers.com slash Junior Dodgers or give us a call 323-224-2646. Ball one. Two down in the seventh inning. Yadier Molina. Fly to left. Had a great at bat, five fouls, eight pitches, doubled in the fourth inning, and then doubled his last time up. His double to left center is the key to the game. The double to right center was wasted. One ball and one strike. Ball two. When the Dodgers come up in the bottom of the seventh inning, they'll have Matt Kemp, Andre Ethier, and Manny Ramirez. They are 0 for 5 amongst them. 2 and 1. And that's popped up. Orlando's going out to get that one. So the Cardinals go one, two, three at the end of six and a half, two nothing St. Louis. Two to nothing in favor of the Cardinals, and it figured to be a tough one tonight. As we mentioned earlier, it certainly figured the Cardinals would win game one. It certainly looked like the Dodgers would win game two, but tonight up in the air as Kem fouls it away. Oh and one the count. Of course, that's the charm of this game. You think you'd have it figured out, and it'll blow up in your face. It'll be interesting what Matt Kemp does. He is 0 for 2 on his night. Grounded to third, grounded to short. Wayne Wright has got nine ground balls. 0 and 2. Adam Wainwright. Came in 14 and 7, but more importantly, a rather amazing record on the road. Adam Wainwright this year, 9 and 1 on the road. He's in the seventh inning, 
He's had 24 consecutive starts where he's gone at least six. One and two. He went five and a third innings before he allowed the only base hit a clean single by Orlando Hudson. Hudson got to second the only Dodger to get that far. One and two. Two and two. Trying to get Kemp to go after that low breaking ball. Matt with 17 home runs, 76 runs batted in, and a 310 batting average. Two and two. Just did get that slider, just a little bit of it. Still two and two. Fastball hit in the air to left field, but right at Holiday. So a whole bunch of curveballs, one slider. And then the fastball, and Matt flies to left, one away. Now Andre Ethier. Ethier grounded to third and was called out on a check swing for strike three in the fourth inning. Andre, 24 home runs, 81 runs batted in. That's off the plate, ball one. Manny Ramirez on deck. Fast ball on the hands. Not throwing as hard as he was earlier. That fast ball at 87. One and one. And a breaking ball, big curve. One and two. Wainwright has had such great control. He's only walked one. He came into this game leading Cardinal starters with 53 walks. One and two. And a breaking ball has hit the right center, and that's deep. And Andre Ethier hits one over the right center field wall, and the Dodgers finally get on the scoreboard. But the Cardinals lead two to one. Twenty-five home runs, 82 RBIs. He got a curveball, and he was so strong he could hit it out. Rasmus just watching it clear the wall. So Ethier wakes up the Dodger offense a little bit, and now Manny Ramirez will be the hitter. For Adam Wainwright, that would be the 14th home run that he has allowed this year. And once more with feeling, you hear Manny. Fastball for a strike. He struck Manny out on a fastball on the inside part of the plate back in the second inning. Then he walked him in the fifth. Another fastball and another strike. Again, the fastballs I've leveled off to 87. But it was the curveball that Ethier hit out. Two to one Cardinal seventh inning. Another fastball, one and two. Now that fastball, he got to 92. Most pitches in an inning for Adam tonight, 15 back in the fourth.
Fastball. Fly ball to right. Ludwig a long way, but he's there now. Two down in the seventh inning. Certainly one little trend, and it's only a small trend. But as the game has progressed now, as fatigue, I'm sure, begins to enter the picture a little bit. Remember, we were talking about all the ground balls that Wainwright had gotten. Suddenly, here in the seventh inning, Kemp a fly ball to left, Efe or a home run to right center, Ramirez a fly ball to right. Here's Blake. Ball one. Cardinals two runs, six hits. Dodgers one run, two hits. Cardinals have left 11 men in their seven innings. They left eight in the first four innings. <laughs> Missed inside. Cardinals have been in 26 one run games and they are two games above 500. Fouled away. Cardinals are under 500 in one run games on the road. Meanwhile the Dodgers in one run games at home have won 17 of 22. Two and two. And a drive to left. I should say the balls are going up and out. And we have a brand new ball game. Sudden Adam Wainwright is not getting the ground balls, and you had the feeling sooner or later. Heathier homers after two fly balls, Blake homers to tie it up. And in the Cardinal dugout, I'm sure all they can think of is the fact they've left 11 men on base. Ball one to Loney. Another breaking ball. So Ethier hit a curveball for a home run to right center. Blake takes him to left field, and it's 2 2. Fastball hit down the left field line, slicing and going foul. Cardinals got two runs in the fourth inning, and it was 2 to nothing with one out in the seventh. Blake talking to Mark Loretta. Andre Ethier hit the other home run like the other cufflink as they flank Mark. One ball and one strike to Loney. Check, no swing, says Gary Cedarstrom. Two and one to James. Fastball whacked down the right field line in there, and Loney is on his way for a double. So, where the two home runs were on breaking balls, Loney hits a fastball, and you gotta believe Wainwright is tiring, and Dave Duncan, the pitching coach, going out there. Another somewhat shocking note on the home runs by Ethier and Blake. Wainwright had allowed just one home run in his last 80 innings. 
And here in the seventh inning he gives up two. It's not like he has worked that hard but. When the ball started to come up when Kemp hit the fly ball. Then he feel the home run. Then Ramirez the fly ball. Especially after all the ground balls we saw for six innings. And now he's in trouble. It's not only 2 2 it's a 23 pitch inning for him and the Dodgers have a chance to break the tie with Loney at second two out and Russell Martin Martin popped up to second popped up to short hitting 262 again remember just to add a little spice to the game both the Rockies and the Giants already won today. Fastball strike. That fastball in the 80s. Loney at second, two out in a 2 2 tie. Fastball strike. Look, 0 oh and 2 the count to Russell Martin. Two out, two in, 2-2. Two, two. On deck, Orlando Hudson. Loney a tiebreaker at second. Long look by Wainwright. One and two. Off the plate, two and two. Slide away off. Seemed like in watching close ups that Wainwright shook off Molina just before the pitch he made to Andre Ethier. Looked like the only time we saw him say no. Two and two. Fastball grounded to Pujols. He'll feed Wainwright. So the Dodgers get two home runs and a double and they get even on home runs by Ethier and Blake and we head to the eighth in a 2 2 tie as Andre goes over the right center field wall and Casey puts one into the left field pavilion. Two two as we go to the eighth inning Wainwright made 28 pitches but watch this close up. As Wainwright looks in to Yadier Molina and then pitches the curveball to Andre Ethier. The pitch before, watch him now, that's when he said no. That's the rare time I've seen him shake Molina off. And then he, I guess Molina wanted the fastball, he wanted the curve. It's the old story. The catcher suggests, and the pitcher, it's his game. And Ethier. Hit that low curveball over the right center field wall. Then Blake got a curveball, but there was no shake off, and Casey hit that curve into the left field stands. So into the eighth we go, 2 2. Wainwright will be following Colby Rasmus to the plate, and Hung Chi Kuo comes out of the pen. Kuo. Almost two to one strikeouts to walks. Rasmus has struck out twice. Dodgers keep left hand hitters on the bench by bringing in Quo. That's a strike. Thurston, Ankiel, and Schumacher all hit from the left side. 
two right hand batters available to La Russa, Green and LaRue. On one. Oh and two. Rasmus in the lineup against Clayton Kershaw. The only left hander in the lineup and you know Kershaw has been eating up left hand hitters. They were batting 182 against him and Rasmus struck out twice. Oh and two. One and two. Ankiel played center field last night went one for four and had the game winning home run in the seventh inning of the first game. One and two to Colby. Two and two. Adam Wainwright to follow and then the shortstop Brendan Ryan. Dodgers use Kershaw, McDonald, Belisario, and Quo. Fastball, see you later. So Colby Rasmus strikes out three times, and now Wainwright's going to be called away, and they will use one of their two right handed hitters, Khalil Green. So Wainwright pitched so well until he ran into the seventh. Khalil Green played third base last night, went one for three and knocked in a run. The so Wainwright goes out, can't lose, could win, or it might have been all for naught. Kyle McClellan, a right hander, is up in the pen. Fastball popped up, and there's Orlando. The green didn't hang around. And the battle will be Brendan Ryan. Brendan Ryan grounded to short, singled off Orlando's glove in the third inning, singled to center in the fourth to drive in a run, and grounded to third. I remember asking Matt Williams one time, why did you bite your shoulder when you hit? Matt said, I have no idea. I don't think Brendan is really that conscious of it either. Right. One and one. Two runs, six hits for the Cardinals. Two runs, four hits for the Dodgers. Cardinals have scratched for two and left 11. The Dodgers two swings of the bat by Ethier and Blake. And a high fly ball into deep left center. Kemp to the wall. Can't make the play. Ryan is going to keep on going. And he will be at third standing up with his third hit. I think Brendan thought when he first hit it it might have gone out. For Ryan, that is his fifth triple. He runs very well. Though a two out triple, Kemp that close to catching it as he hits the pads. So the battle will be Julio Lugo. Lugo is 0 for 4. Flied to right, popped to second, flied to left, reached on an error. Cardinals are 1 for 9 with runners in scoring position. Now Wainwright could get a decision if they can get Ryan home. Well, they've already left 11. And nice save by Martin, which brings up the point. Hung Chi Kuo has two wild pitches. Big crowd seeing a dandy of a game. Paid attendance 54,847. A sellout. 
Fastball strike. On deck, of course, is the fellow that Quo didn't want to see. Nobody really wants to see him. Albert Pujols. Pujols won for three in the past against Quo. One and one to Lugo. Ball two. Lugo is 0 for 1 in the past against Quo. Hung Chi Quo made nine pitches, pitched the eighth inning of game one, and retired the side in order. He struck out Pujols the only time he faced him. Two and one. Two and two. So it's a huge at bat for Lugo with Ryan a tiebreaker at third. It's a big at bat for Wainwright and for the crowd. Deuces wild to Lugo. Check swing. Got him. No run, one hit, a two out triple, and a man left. Still 2 2. Bottom of the eighth inning, and the Dodgers are fully aware that Colorado beat Washington 5 4 behind Jason Marquise, and the Giants beat the Reds behind Barry Zito. So the Dodgers must win to maintain a four and a half lead over the Rockies and a five and a half lead over the Giants and it will change one way or another depending on the outcome of the game. Kyle McClellan a right hander pitching now to Orlando Hudson and ball one Hudson has grounded out and single McClellan is a big boy from Missouri from Florissant Missouri he's six four. 205 pounder. That's a strike. McClellan's father owns a 15,000 square foot training facility called the Fieldhouse Baseball and Softball Training Center in St. Louis. Ball two. And during the offseason, he works very, very hard teaching youngsters. And as he said, they have saved quite a few kids by getting them involved in training properly in baseball. In fact, Kyle was talking about one kid. He said, I hammered him. My dad hammered him. Then the other kid. And finally, the two boys got their grade averages up to three. And they went on to play ball in college. And as McClellan says, to me, that's why I'm here. Meanwhile, he's three and two to Hudson, bottom of the eighth in a two-two tie. Orlando batting 295. And ball four. Well, the old adage you've heard all your life, waste not, want not. And for Tony LaRussa, trained as a lawyer. He does not have a chance to rest his case tonight. They've left 12 to have the Cardinals in eight innings. Tony Abreu is now going to come up and bat for Hung Chi Kuo. Dodgers use Juan Pierre, who grounded sharply to Albert Pujols. Brief meeting. So Pierre sitting quietly deep in thought as Abreu checks in. Tony hitting 250. Down in the Dodger bullpen, Jonathan Broxton warming up. Tony was up, then he went down, then they sent him back up today from AAA. Shows bunt, bunt foul. 0 oh and 1. No balls and one strike. Dodgers trail two to nothing after the fourth inning. 
and then broke through on the home runs by Ethier and Blake. Two curveballs jumped up and bit Adam Wainwright. And now the Dodgers trying to get something going in the eighth. Left handers hit 238 against McClellan last year. Hudson over there at first deserves a watch because he has stolen seven out of eight. Oh and one to Tony Abreu. One ball and one strike so they took the bunt off on that pitch. Joe Torrey. The great Cardinal MVP. Managed the Cardinals. Fired as the Cardinal manager. And succeeded by Tony La Russa. One and one. Dodgers would like to get on the board here in the eighth because when the Cardinals come up in the ninth, they have Pujols, Holiday, and Ludwig. One and two. So Abreu tried to bunt the first pitch, fouled it off. They've taken the bunt off and a one ball, two strike count. Waved at an off speed, a curveball, and down goes Abreu. So one out, the lack of the bunt, and Hudson is still at first. Here's that deuce up there and down there. The batter now, Rafael for call against Adam Wainwright. For call was shut down, grounded to short, grounded to second, hit back to the box. The entire infield coming up, and no doubt talking about for call and among other things, that running bunt that he has. They also have to worry about Hudson, who has stolen, as we said, seven out of eight. McClellan, as Hudson talks to Mariano Duncan, McClellan is also a pitcher who paid the price. Four years ago, he underwent Tommy John surgery. And he had more surgery three years ago. In the dirt. Nice save by Molina. New ball. One ball and no strikes. For call staring at Larry Boa. Two runs, seven hits for the Cardinals. Two runs, four hits for the Dodgers, who didn't get a man on base until Ramirez walked in the fifth inning tonight. That's a strike. One and one. The 12 left on by the Cardinals. The Dodgers have only left two. One and one. Wainwright and McClellan. The Dodgers with Kershaw, McDonald, Belisario, Quo, and soon Broxton. Ground ball to third. They go low to Lugo. Makes a good turn, but then bounces it. Julio was in such a hurry to get out of there and didn't have much on the throw. Remember, this is a club that has turned more double plays than anyone else in the major league. And Lugo, by the time he crossed the bag, he was pretty far away. So that keeps the inning alive. And Matt Kemp, the bobblehead boy, coming up. Two out for a call at first, 2-2, two -two, bottom of the eighth. Ball one. On deck, Andre Ethier. And 
two and zero. Oh. Pujols gesturing to somebody in the Cardinal dugout. Now back on the bag. And a high fly ball, very playable. Crowds looking at it with their hearts. So a fly ball, a man left, and at the end of eight, Cardinals two, Dodgers two. Tony La Russa has to be frustrated over the left on base numbers back to back bases loaded left in the third and in the fourth. In fact they failed to leave a man in the seventh inning because they didn't get anybody on. That was the only inning in which they've been retired in order. That's when Ludwig struck out and both DeRosa and Molina popped up. And the big guns as we have mentioned have been completely silenced all during the three game series. Certainly a tribute to the Dodgers as Ludwig tries to stretch with that Mohawk haircut in that something. Jonathan Broxton will be pitching to Albert Pujols Matt Holliday and then Ryan Ludwig. Pujols Holliday and Ludwig they're the trio that really make the Cardinals go and they're not going. They are four for 30 in the series. That's a collectively a 133 batting average. And together, they have one run batted in, and it was Albert's home run against Charlie Hager in game one of the series. So can they be stopped again? Well, that'll be up to Broxton. Last night, Broxton came in and struck out Holiday and Ankiel. And he was in the first game and he struck out Ludwig and Ankiel. So now he gets Pujols and vice versa. That's right. Broxton and Pujols. Albert is 1 for 11 against him. 2 2 in the ninth. One ball and one strike. Considering the fact that the two teams lead their respective divisions, you can understand there is a definite playoff feeling throughout the three games. One and one to Albert. Fouled away, one and two. Pujols has had 100 RBIs ever since 2001. The other fellows who had anything like that are in Cooperstown. Joe DiMaggio, Al Simmons, and Ted Williams. Five hundred and thirty eight home runs. He is tied a famous St. Louis resident Yogi Berra. Two and two. Albert as we pointed out. Thirty nine home runs and he has only struck out forty eight times. Little squirter foul ball. That was a 96 mile an hour fastball, and he cued that thing up along first. In 2006, Albert Pujols had 49 home runs and struck out a total of 50 times. Ball three.
Pujols has walked 88 times. In fact, he's been intentionally walked 36, and Matt Holliday blowing bubbles on deck. Three and two. And in the dirt for ball four. The Pujols has walked three times and been hit by a pitch tonight. Certainly one way to slow the Cardinals down. And now Holiday, who is 0 for 3 with a walk. Holiday against Broxton. Two for 13. Fastball missed ball one. Holiday struck out against Broxton last night in the ninth inning. Holiday singled. Little ground ball up along third after bruising his toe with a foul ball in the ninth inning of the first game with Broxton. Ball two on deck, Ryan Ludwig. Big John, seven and zero, oh, twenty six saves. And ball three. Now Holiday is a fella with a lot of power. A lot of power certainly when he was with the Rockies when he hit as many as 36. So you don't take a three and oh count for granted with Matt. There goes Pujo. And it's a strike. The throw down gets away. Shallow right center. And Albert Pujols is going to third. Boy, what a surprise. Pujols going on a 3 and 0 pitch. So Tony trying to pull a rabbit out of a hat. And he has a 3 and 1 count to Holiday. It'll be a stolen base for Pujols. We were mentioning earlier. That he's a surprise. He's now stolen 12 out of 15. And there'll be an error charge to Martin as he bounces the throw to Orlando. Now, three and one to count. The infield halfway on the left and just about halfway on the right. And a high fly ball to Matt Kemp. He's going to catch it, but Pujols is going to tag up and come in, and the Cardinals take a 3-2 to two lead. So Albert Pujols stealing on a 3-0 and pitch, got a bonus on the overthrow, and comes home on Holiday's fly ball. He's something. The batter is Ryan Ludwig, who single struck out, flied to right, and struck out. Three runs, seven hits for the Cardinals, two runs, four hits, three errors for the Dodgers. When the Dodgers come up in the bottom of the ninth inning, they have Andre Ethier, Manny Ramirez, and Casey Blake. Slider, 0 and 2 to Ludwig. Ludwig had a great July. They've cooled him off so far in August. 
Struck out twice tonight. 0 and 2. Down he goes again. So Ludwig has really stopped dead in the water. And that's one reason why it's been a tough series for the Cardinals. And with two down, the batter is Mark DeRosa. DeRosa struck out, single to right, grounded to third, popped up, scored a run. Time, DeRosa. Everybody looks in the outfield for the beach ball. And ball one. So Broxton gives up a tough run here in the ninth and the Cardinals lead 3 2. Mark DeRosa three years a quarterback at the University of Pennsylvania. Good one. And ball two. Mark got into Penn he said from academics and football then he played in the Cape Cod League and that's when but baseball took over his life two and oh hard ground ball smothered by Blake up and Adam throws him out so the challenge is on the table for the Dodgers the Giants have won the Rockies have won and Albert Pujols has put the Cardinals ahead three to two Bottom of the ninth inning with the Cardinals leading the Dodgers three to two. The Dodgers faced a similar challenge in the seventh inning. If you remember with one out, Andre Ethier, the hitter, Wainwright shook off Molina, came with a curveball, and Ethier cleared the right center field wall. Having been stung once, he faced Casey Blake with a curveball, and Casey hit that in the pavilion. And now it'll be Ethier Ramirez and Blake again only this time there's no more innings if they don't produce Ethier grounded to third struck out and homered facing a former Dodger Dennis Reyes Dennis from Higuera de Zaragoza in Mexico was signed by the Dodgers in 1993 came up in 1997 and proceeds to hit Ethier. And the Dodgers have the time run on on one pitch. How do you do? Well, Tony's idea would be to have Reyes get Ethier and then bring in his ace reliever. Instead, Reyes messes up. Got him right on the leg. So here comes Tony, and there goes Reyes. A quick adios. There were those who thought Dennis Reyes reminded them of Fernando Valenzuela. Not quite. So Dennis goes out on one pitch, and now the Dodgers have Ramirez, Blake, and Loney. Ryan Franklin, with 30 saves, will be coming out of the bullpen to try and save this one, and we'll be back. It made sense for Tony La Russa to bring in left handed Dennis Reyes against Ethier Reyes holding left hand batters to about a 250 batting average but Dennis hits him and now the entire scenario has changed and Ryan Franklin who has given up two home runs this year and I'm sure you're thinking about that he'll be facing Ramirez and Blake. Franklin 
came in in the first game of the series and he came in to pitch to Manny Ramirez and got him to pop up. So this is the second time they will confront each other and you can see Manny has pretty big numbers. Ether at first three to two Cardinals in the ninth. And Franklin ready to go to work. He's out of Fort Smith, Arkansas. Ryan Franklin. Fastball for ball one. Six three one ninety originally signed with the Mariners came to the Cardinals in 07. One and oh to Manny struck out walk fly to right. Franklin among other things pitched in the Sydney Olympics as a member of the U.S. team picked up three wins a gold medal as they beat Cuba. One ball and no strikes. Foul back fastball in on the hands. That's the pitch that Wainwright used to strike out Ramirez in the second inning. Franklin in looking at what he has done his earned run average is one point one and his strikeout to walk ratio is three to one. So the faithful are waiting for Manny. One and one. Another fastball. One and two. Big crowd, many of whom are standing. 54,847. I should say this feels like a playoff game. Kershaw, McDonald, Belisario, Quo, and Broxton, Wainwright, McClellan, Reyes, and Franklin. Fastball, two and two. Eighth year, the tying run held on by Pujols. Matt Kemp's bobblehead night. Matt went 0 for 4. Raphael for call, 0 for 4. 2 and 2. Fastball broken back. Little ground ball. Ryan had to wait for the back. And then throws him out. Boy, was that a tough play for Brendan Ryan. That bat was coming at him, and he had to wait to get out of the way of the bat. And Brendan made a wonderful play. Watch this. Never mind the ball. Here comes the bat if you're the shortstop. Ryan has to duck that runaway airplane propeller. And just did get Ramirez. But the tying run is now at second with one out. And the batter is Casey Blake. It also takes away from the Cardinals their favorite weapon. Remember, they induce Loney to hit into a double play in the fifth inning. And the Cardinals lead the major leagues in turning double plays. But now the broken bat ground ball takes away a force. Manny talking to Juan Castro and the batter will be Casey Blake. Blake lined out to first struck out and then hit a curveball into the left field seats for a home run. Blake is six for 11 in the past against Franklin ball one. 
That's over 500, 545. One and all the count. You may remember Blake made the last out in game one against Franklin a long fly ball to deep left center. A little pop fly to the left side. It's the shortstop Ryan. So the Dodgers now down to their last out and the batter is James Loney. First baseman, number seven, James Loney. Loney tonight, flied to left, hit into a double play, and then double to right on the heels of the home runs by Ethier and Blake. Three runs, seven hits for the Cardinals, two runs, four hits for the Dodgers. Dodgers had not left a man on in the first six innings. They left a man on in the seventh and in the eighth and they have the tying run at second with two out in the ninth. The Cardinals left 12. Off speed slow curve ball one. Franklin has a lot of pitches. Fastball and slider he has a splitter curve ball and a change last year. He also had kind of a knuckleball. And ball two. On deck, Russell Martin. And this crowd remains on their feet, the majority of them. 54,847. A whopper. 2 0 to James. And a strike. Two and one. Cardinals scored two in the fourth inning. Dodgers tied it on home runs by Ethier and Blake in the seventh. Cardinals got a run in the ninth because Albert Pujols stole second on a three and oh pitch. Fast ball for a strike. So it figured tough ball game and we go right down to deuces wild two balls two strikes two out tying run at second and the Cardinals lead three to two. In the dirt. Nice save by Molina. Three and two to Loney, and Russell Martin waiting on deck. Martin popped up to second, popped up to short, grounded to first, 0 for three. The Giants and the Rockies won today, earlier. Time. Well, you talk about big league pressure. Late in August, pennant race. It's all here. And now Molina going out to talk. LaRusse's club had a comfortable six game lead coming in against the Cubs. But the Dodgers sorely threatened now by the Rockies and the Giants. And now Dave Duncan decides to go out and talk to Molina and to Franklin. Sometimes in football, you remember they'll make the police kicker sweat it out. Right now you wonder are they making Loney sweat it out. Amen. 
three and two. We have come to this. And a drive into shallow left field moving over his holiday and that's it. The Dodgers leave the tying run at second and now you can hear it the noise of the Rockies and the noise of the Giants. Cardinals three runs seven hits no errors. Dodgers two runs four hits three errors. Albert Pujols beats the Dodgers with a stolen base. What a story. So the Dodgers now lead the Rockies by three and a half and the Giants by four and a half and we await the arrival of the Cubs on August the 20th. Once again the final score Cardinals three Dodgers two right now we wish you all a very pleasant good evening.